and one. Hey, we've got a special guest here from a long, long way away. Can you introduce yourself and where you're from and what do you play? Hi, I'm Susanna Leggett. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Belgium and I play shortstop. So tell me, what is your real name? <laughs> yeah, that's Susanna Leggett. But in softball, everybody just calls me Suze most of the time. So it's Suze, right? It's uh, if someone calls you Susanna, then you don't know who they're talking to, right? Yeah, in softball, kind of, yeah. But in school, it's the, it's the formal name, and outside of school, it's the informal name, right? Yeah. So I guess you got picked up to yeah. play. Yeah, we, you got picked up to play on one of our American teams, which is pretty cool. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm really excited to learn new people and learn new stuff with new coaches. So, yeah, I'm really excited. So you heard a little bit about your coach right now that you're going to be having. Uh, what are your thoughts on him? Well, I was impressed because like top five, it's a big number. And uh, I'm really excited to learn from him and see if he can make me better. And yeah. I can guarantee you Michael Bastian can make you better. There is almost no doubt. He's one of the best in the world inside the lines. I've already told you that. But uh, yeah, he's a compliment yeah. to him. He's got a good personality around athletes and he will make you better. So tell me, you're in Belgium right now. It's uh, 2.30 my time. What time is it there? It's 8.30. 8.30, so you got six hours difference there. Um, how long have you been playing softball? Yeah. Um, I've been playing softball for four years. So you've been playing since you've been 13. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden you're a shortstop. So the word on the street says that you've got an incredible arm and you're really quick. Is that true? Well, <laughs> I don't know if they say it. It's true, right? If people say that, then. <laughs> then good, right? <laughs> good enough. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. Anyhow, uh, from tell me about your dad's background. Where's he from? This is interesting. Well, my dad is English, so he's from England, um, like around London. Okay. So. And your mother? Yeah. He lived in his whole childhood. And your mother is? My mother is Dutch. And you live in Belgium, which is not Dutch, but it is kind of Dutch, right? Yeah, where I live, it's like 15 kilometers to the border. So, yeah. Pretty much Dutch. Yeah, and I go to a Dutch school, so. So that's a good thing, too. Do you cross the border to go to school? Yeah. Well, do you really? That's interesting. Is there a reason you do that? Well, it's just, like, better with softball because... Like, I also play softball in the Netherlands, so yeah. it's easier. Yeah, so yeah. it's easier just to be there. So you have to cross the border every day a couple times, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two right. times, most of the time. So. Yeah, yeah, there and back. So um, tell me, what do you like in, what are you doing in school that you love to do? Mm, well, I study economics, so I like economics. Mm. And uh, yeah, if we play softball with school, it's always fun. <laughs> so you're mostly but, an, you're mostly an athlete, right? Yeah. So your mom is a math teacher, but you would love. Do you love math as well? No. no you don't like <laughs> it's math. my worst subject. So your mom doesn't help you at home at all, right? Your mom doesn't help you. Well, she like teaches younger kids, so the the things I'm learning, she doesn't teach. So okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So have you been to America ever? I've been to America when uh, I was twelve, I think. Okay. So Five we went. To West Coast. And yeah, where, it was did, where, where did you go when you were in America? We went to the West Coast. We started in San Francisco and we went to the national parks and then we ended up in LA. So did, what did you like special about being in America? What did you like? What would you say, sorry? Pardon? Uh, what did you say? I didn't hear the question. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, what did you like special about being in America? 
Well, I love the people and the food, and we w watched our first baseball game there, so that's why I started playing because we watched the game. Oh, we darn, that's good. So, uh, would you ever come back again? Yeah, for sure. I uh, would love to go to college in the USA. So, so we can find, we can kind of make that. I'm not sure you know this or not, but we can kind of make that happen. Did you know that? Oh. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, we help a lot of athletes from the Netherlands and Belgium, a couple from Belgium too, also come to America to play ball. In fact, in the summertime, when you're playing normally with your team there, we have brought athletes over. Uh, uh, last summer, we had a couple over playing summer ball with our club team so they can get an, an experience of playing ball here. So if that's of interest, that also can happen. And by the way, by the time you leave your team, you'll probably get inv invitations from every one of your team members to come visit them. So that will happen. I can promise that. So, yeah. <laughs> so what would you tell if you had to tell your teammates right now what to expect when they come to the Netherlands and it'll be their very first time they've been there? What would you tell them what to expect that might be a little bit different than what they're used to? Maybe less. Well, we're going to Sridam, so maybe it's different, but lots of fields, um, like smaller like towns and um like windmills and yeah. <laughs> that's like the typical dutch thing so yeah so they'd see windmills which we don't have here much of and at least not, not the old-fashioned ones and uh, small towns yeah we have small towns not quite like yeah. Dutch small towns what kind of food would you say they would be interested in if they came and you said i'm going to show you i'm going to give you a, a some food that i know you're going to love what would be that food um, like stroopwafels, of course, because yep. it's a typical Dutch thing. And like food wise, I don't know if we really have like the typical food of the Netherlands. Um, uh, you have some different food. You have pea soup. Uh, that's something that we don't do in America. Do you like that? No. <laughs> no, you don't like that. That's pretty funny. You have uh, pufferges which oh, we, yeah. don't, we don't have. Yeah, those are really good. <laughs> so you would, you, would you let your teammates uh, try some of them if you if we had some? Of course. <laughs> would, you, would, would you think they would like it? I think so, yeah, because most, most of the people like it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when we get over there, I think we're going to be, you know, Market Hall in Rotterdam. I think you know that? Market yeah. Hall? Yeah, so over there, they we're going to be near there. We're going to be at the Hilton. I hope you're going to come for our meeting on Thursday. And if you do that, when we're done with the meeting, maybe you can you know, go over there quickly and show your team um, some of this uh, Dutch stuff that you know already. Um, how far are you, by the way, from Rotterdam? Are you how much time driving? Like, it depends on the traffic, but it's like an hour and 20 minutes, I think. That's when you're driving your bicycle? <laughs> no, car. <laughs> so it's probably more like an hour, I think, right? Yeah. Because I'm thinking it's 40, 40, 45 kilometers. I think it's more. I don't know for sure because my parents always drive me, but. <laughs> so you're not having, you don't get your license yet. Oh, no, you, you got to wait to 18, right? Yeah. So are you excited for that? Well, that means I can't take naps in the car anymore before my training. So, <laughs> after my training. so that could be a problem, right? Yeah, because I can't fall asleep behind the wheel. So this is, true. this is very true. Well, Susanna, Suze, we're going to let you go. Thank you for hanging out with me for a minute. Uh, going to send this over to your coach, Michael, and uh, your teammates. And you're going to we're going to be super glad to have you with us. That's uh, that's for sure. I've heard lots and lots of good news. Uh, good reports from you and um, fast and quick and has a great arm and we're excited to have you on board. So again, thanks for your time uh, and we'll Thank see you in 50 some days. So yes, anyway. I'm really excited. Can't wait. Sure.